I am going to show you how I export my videos in Adobe Premiere Pro and in Adobe After Effects using Adobe Media Encoder. What's great about Media Encoder is it allows you to export your videos. If you're working in Premiere Pro or After Effects, then you can go back to work in those programs, so it doesn't affect your workflow. So, if you're working on multiple sequences or multiple compositions inside After Effects, you can load up the queue in Media Encoder and it doesn't affect your workflow at all. So now I'll show you how to export a video from Premiere Pro using Adobe Media Encoder. This process is very similar in After Effects, but After Effects actually has a direct link right to Media Encoder. Premiere Pro does not at this point, so let's go to File, Export Media. Click on the output name and name it whatever you want. Make sure you're in the right directory. This is the directory that I want to save it to. I'm going to hit save. Now all of my settings here are the way I want it to export the videos. So this is the Premiere Pro window right now. We're not in Media Coder yet. If I was to hit export now in Premiere Pro, you can see here, I have to wait until this is done. If I click out here and want to go back to work, I can't work until this video is done exporting. That's kind of a pain. So now, I want to use Adobe Media Encoder. To do it in Premiere Pro, you want to click this button here, Hue. That will open up Media Encoder. You might have to wait a second, but it will show up here in this folder or this side over here. This should be the same that you just set in Premiere Pro. Here's the directory that it's going to go to. You can click on that just to verify it's going to where you want. Now, in order to make this work, what you want to do is just click this play button. I hit this, and I can stop it if I want to pause it for whatever reason, but once I hit play, I can go right back into Premiere Pro and continue working. In fact, if I had multiple sequences, I could export as many as I wanted, and it would not affect my workflow one bit. You don't even have to go back and look. It will actually just show up here in the list, and when this one's done, the next one goes. You don't have to export from Premiere or After Effects to use Media Encoder. You can manually import videos or audio files by clicking this little plus symbol here. Just find your file. You can just add it right into it. If you want it for your podcaster, you can bring in audio files only. Broadcast level standards. And if you want to get rid of a file, you can just simply highlight it and hit this little minus key right here. So that is Adobe Media Encoder, part of the Adobe Creative Cloud, the tool I use to export all of my videos.